In this video, we will discuss how to set up the HSAMT transmitter for use with the Geode EM3D or for legacy Stratagem systems. First, our field technician will explain why you might want to use an HSAMT transmitter with the Geode EM3D. Sometimes the natural field signals are too weak. This transmitter will help fill in the natural field with artificial signals. We measure ENH fields, which then through a calculation, through an FFT and other calculations, we produce impedance curves. This will give you apparent resistivity and phase against frequency. This information can then be inverted and give you resistivity against depth. This transmitter is a portable battery powered EM transmitter. This transmitter consists of an electronic box, a power cable, ground stake, and ground wire, frequency switch or start switch, and the actual antenna. I have now laid out the antenna in preparation for setting up the antenna. I have laid out the two two sets of legs approximately 90 degrees from each other. The exact orientation is not critical, just needs to be about 90 degrees. Now I need to connect the legs together. They are permanently attached with elastic and so I just pull them apart and snap them back in together. Here we're going to connect the center of the antenna. We take this white center disc here and just stretch one set of legs onto either side. That, then we take the other leg, one side, stretch it, and do the other, other side. We have laid out the antenna, connected all the legs, and connected the center disc. We are ready to actually set up the antenna. This can be done with one person, and I'll do it here by myself, but it is typically a lot easier if you have a helper. So you grab the rope from one, one end of one leg, run it beneath the center disc here, Clip it onto the far side. Now you take the rope from the other remaining leg. Again, run it beneath the center disc. And clip it to the opposite leg. Next, you want to adjust the legs such that the antenna is not leaning too much. Sometimes you'll have to step back a few feet and make sure that the antenna is even. We have now set up the transmitter antenna, so now we're going to connect the antenna cables into the orange transmitter electronic box. There are connectors on each side of the transmitter box. One cable comes in into each side of the transmitter box. This in my hand here is our what we call the frequency switch. 
it is just the start. This is the start switch for the transmitter. Simply press it to start it, and the transmitter will automatically run by itself, and it will shut itself off. If you need to sh stop earlier, press it again, and it'll shut off. The last step here is to connect the battery. First, you want to connect the battery power cable to the orange electronic transmitter box. Then you connect the clips to the battery and you want to be sure to connect the black negative lead last. The transmitter is now set up and ready for operation. This transmitter is controlled through a simple switch here. It has a light on the end that's on solid when the transmitter is ready to transmit. You start it simply by pressing the switch and the transmitter automatically start itself. It will run through its, its 15 frequencies and stop when it's done. While it's running, the light on the end of the switch will be flashing. The light will then stop and be on solid when the transmitter is done. Then it's simply a matter of pressing the switch again to start it when you are ready. For more information on the Geode EM3D, visit the video description and click on the product link. Thank you for watching this HSAMT transmitter setup video.